Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahusha, Bahashim Rachak Kodash, the bonus to the apostles and the elders, that great millstone who will well, peace and blessings to the sincere Akim who are doing this work throughout the four corners, doing this work of truth and sincerity to the hopeful elect out there in the one third. All right, so this is a lesson on how we're being fully assured in what we believe in, which is that the one who the world ignorant calls Jesus, whose name is Yahweh, oh, Yahweh Shai, and, and Yahweh, which is uh, who they call God, they're going to come back and to give salvation to the hopeful elect. All right? The ones, out, uh, the ones who are putting their whole heart in this thing who are sincere and yes there are going to be some who aren't in great millstone who are going to uh, be saved as well all right the lord found favor in them so he the, what the scriptures say who uh, uh he may find find mercy on who we who we find mercy but for the most part the heavenly father is dealing with uh, a great millstone started with the uh, apostles and elders and all going on down so I'm going to open up this one with us um, second Peter chapter chapter 1 verse 10 where for uh, wherefore the the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure for if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. So we're making our call and our election sure. And how do we do that? By constantly being involved with the word. Whether we're doing videos, we're going on the highways and the hedges, we're praying and being uh, being a watchman unto the Lord. So if we're diligent like that, uh, like like the Lord commanded us to do, He's going to save us. All right. That that can make that makes your your uh, uh, your salvation more solidified if you're doing those things. So there's there's no doubt that you know the Lord's not dealing with you because that's a clear indicator the Lord's dealing with you. You're doing everything He told you to do. Now if you're not, you have to get on that path, or else you you fall away. You know, that's a that's pretty much the simple uh, breakdown on how the Lord wants us to be in the last days. That's why you see brothers on fire. That's why you see in uh, 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 gaining more understanding, being more fervent, more brotherly. These are all the things that we have to do because we know the judgment is going to start off with us. So we have to get ourselves in order first and foremost and then tell Jake, and then, you know, then tell Jake that uh, their transgressions. It's not an overly compli complicated uh, thing to understand. Uh, this is uh, Matthew chapter 21, verse 21. And it reads, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto, you, uh, unto them, Verily I say unto you, if ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. So uh, we're not to doubt in anything, whether the Lord is actually dealing with us or, or is the Lord going to save me and my family? We can't doubt these things because the Lord doesn't doesn't uh, take pleasure in us doubting. And you could, you know, it's. You could have times where it's like, damn, you get put in situations where you think the Lord, you know, ain't dealing, but he saves us out of situations. He does things to solidify you that, you know, OK, he's dealing with you. So the scriptures say, let me get it. Lord willing, I do a video because there's a lot of people call themselves the chosen ones and they really don't even pick up the Bible. They may know scriptures and maybe call themselves Christian or faith or spiritual, but they don't, they ain't really about that action. A lot of uh, these individuals are, are, are uh, you know, young, in 20s, 
So this is Matthew uh, 22 and 14. For many are called, but few are chosen. So most of our most of these brothers, you know, we called. We called to do something. We're called to action. But are we chose yet? No, we're not chose yet. And for us not to be chose yet, we're working into, you know, working into that. So there's even no room to be pride, prideful or puffed up because at any moment, the Lord could go ahead and, you know, take that. And you're seeing, seeing, you know, a brother fall off or he, he, he don't want to continue. There's younger brothers who are in this thing. They, they are, they're absolutely about doing the work, the will of the Heavenly Father. And they're getting things quick. So... Hey, there's spots. Hey, the spots open, so to speak. The elect, the uh, you know, the elect is being sealed as we speak, man. So we can't, you know, there's no, not in 2022. There's no room for doubting. That's what these people, these war of the world, they want you to doubt. Oh, you ain't, you know, you ain't a man of the Lord. You, you, you ain't shit. How's the Lord dealing with you? And you, you ain't got this and you ain't got that. Uh, First Corinthians 11 and one. Be followers of me, even as I also am of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. I'm jump to verse 27. And it reads. Start at 26. Matter of fact, let me start at 20. Twenty um, three, for I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you that the Lord Yahushiach, the same in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he brake it and said, "Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me." We do that, uh, we practice that rehearsal at the uh, Passover, you know. So it says after this, uh, verse 25, after the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood that ye, that this do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me for, 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 as, for as often as it says, uh, for as often ye, ye as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do shew the Lord's death till he come. For, for verse 27, wherefore, uh, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. So we do these things and we have to actually be grateful and understand the magnitude that he's using us as a vessel. You know, he's using a, your camp leader, the brothers who first can command, second, third. These brothers are being used uh, the for, for a purpose to serve in the Lord's uh, program, the Lord's movie. But if you don't think that you're worthy or you're condemned for whatever reason or another, you're going to be unworthily. Then the Lord can start uh, uh, could start jacking you up. So it's always good to be optimistic, although the oppo the opposition here is 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 heavy. It's great. These people don't look at you as a man of the Lord. These women damn sure don't believe that. At this moment, but there's going to come a time. So 
Let's see here. Let's see what else I got. So everything's being fully manifested, fully assured. Because there's many testimonies that brothers have about being delivered, having blessings bestowed unto them. You know, things happen to them in their household. Uh, second, Second Timothy three and um, fourteen. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Yeah, so um, we've learned uh, from the apostles and the elders. All we, we we learned what we needed to know, and we're still learning. We're still uh, we're still learning these things. You know, we learn how to uh, uh, regulate ourselves, being temperate, or being logical with everything, being a man. That's that's really this is what we learned. You know, if we, some of us had a father and taught us certain things, but we really really learned what this life is about when we when we uh, the Lord woke us up. When the, when the Lord woke us up to this through the apostles and elders, how to stand on ten toes, you know, that's that's that's. Hey, I'm thankful for that, cause in the world we were, shit, straight cold cold niggas, man. You know, Pookie Ray Ray. So. Ended with this lesson, Lord willing. This lesson was edifying. I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukhar Kodash, the Bonus, the Apostles, and the Elders, that great millstone. Shalom.